How much fun was that? I have just watched the medal matches at the Olympic Games and the Rugby Sevens. You know, I love it when the when the outcome matches the hype that you give it. And that this has certainly been hyped for a long time around one particular individual. And spoiler alert, if you don't want to know the result, um, then obviously look away because you're going to get it on this video. Um, congratulations to France, who won on home soil in a packed Stade de France, 70,000 people absolutely delirious at the host nation winning their first medal with Antoine Dupont playing a very, very key role. I mean, sometimes it just feels like destiny, doesn't it? Like there's, there's some people that just have it and they, they we, we are witnessing greatness. It's, it's like a prophecy or something. He, he is like the chosen one. Uh, Antoine Dupont, an absolutely incredible guy. 28 points to seven. It was a comfortable win in the end. He was the face of the games before it started. He was who all the rugby hype was centred around. And he went and delivered on the biggest stage. Well, the biggest seven stage ever. Uh, it would have been, I mean, think about the year it would have been if they'd have managed to managed to deliver what they hoped for at the Rugby World Cup in Paris last year. That was heartbreaking for him. But the Champions Cup, the top 14 and an Olympic gold medal. We are witnessing greatness. And I said it on a video. There's this there's video in the channel before the seven started where I was doing some previews of the tournament and I was just throwing together some some of the footage of DuPont in the short time he spent playing sevens, talking about just how special a, a, a character he is. And I said then, and I, and I repeat it now, every time I've been lucky enough to be watching rugby and be in a stadium where this guy is, is playing, I, I do not take it for granted. And I recognise that I am witnessing in real time one of the greatest players that has ever picked up a rugby ball. I'm not calling him the greatest. I'm not saying he's the GOAT. I'm saying he's one of the greatest. He is the, he's the best player on planet Earth right now. And he has proved that again in the short form of the game. And hopefully given rugby a massive boost around the world. Because I hope there were some eyeballs on this. I mean... The coverage of the Rugby Sevens in the UK has been dreadful. What, just it's Yeah, it's been there online and on little red button channels and stuff, but it's not been front and centre because Team GB were not involved. And that's a real shame. So it's not going to really make much of a difference in, in the UK. Hopefully around the world it is. Just a quick word for Fiji as well, because uh, they will be absolutely uh, heartbroken. The first ever game of Rugby Sevens that they've lost, ever, in the Olympics, that is. Um, they've they've they won the first two gold medals. They'll have to make do with a silver on this one. And yeah, I, I'll, I'll let, let me get into the actual game and and, and what happened then. Uh, I'm Tim. This is Egg Chasers. If you appreciate the content on the channel, usually it's 15 aside, and I'm making an exception for this. Uh, then please do hit subscribe on the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Give your thoughts down below. So yeah, 28 points to seven. It finished for France. It, it the atmosphere seemed amazing in the Stade de France. I loved that we had. Well, firstly, I love that we have a 70,000 strong crowd. This might be the high point for Rugby Sevens because the previous two Olympics that it's been involved in, Tokyo and Rio, the host nation were never going to threaten. This was a packed house in front of 70,000 people, host nation. This might be, and it could do great things for Rugby Sevens, which isn't in a great spot and has a lot of, you know, um, compared to how it has been in the past. So hopefully this will be a little boon for it. The anthems loved it. I watched the Fiji tears um, from uh, it was uh, Talatholo tears streaming down his face, and I thought Fiji are going to win this. Then I heard the French national anthem, La Marseillaise, being belted out as loud as you can imagine, and I thought oh, maybe France are going to win this. It was uh, Fiji who got off to uh, a flyer, really. When you actually look at the whole game, though, it felt like they only actually had the ball twice in the whole match. To France's credit. When they did have the ball, they looked dangerous and it was uh, Talatholo finishing off a, a move started by Ravi Talmanda. Uh, broken open field play. But, and this was a big moment, France hitting back to make it 7 all, which is where it was at half-time. And it was game on. And then, you, you couldn't make it up, could you? You couldn't make it up. Second half starts, enter Antoine Dupont, an immediate impact. He goes streaking down the line and in what was quite symbolic actually Antoine Dupont the the current greatest player on earth 
maybe the greatest sevens player on earth as well. He's, he's hardly been playing it, and look at the impact he had on that match. And Jerry Tuai, who has been the greatest sevens player for, for, for the last however many years, two gold medals to his name, and Dupont streaking past him was, was kind of symbolic. It's a little basketball pass to set up the second try. And then, um, then it got a little bit bitty in the middle there of that second half. Scrum penalty. Never seen a scrum penalty at sevens before. Earlier on, we saw nil-nil half-time in, in, the, in the South Africa... Uh, was it? No, it was in the France game before, wasn't it? Uh, and now a scrum penalty. France were knocking on the door. Two minutes left. They get the try to go two scores clear and then finish off with a mall try. A mall try in sevens. I haven't seen anything like it. Deserved winners. Fiji will be absolutely gutted. There's some legends of that team that will be um, that will be bowing out of the sport who deserve some recognition. But two golds and a silver, not a bad haul for, for three Olympic gold medals. Uh, so just... I'll come on to the bronze medal match in a minute, but just on just overall thoughts. What are your overall thoughts on the Olympic sevens? I, I think there's a lot of people, and in fact, I'd probably count myself a little bit in this. Not a, I'm not not a fan of sevens, but I don't go out of my way to watch sevens. If it's on, I'll watch it. But there's so much other rugby the rest of the year that there's, there's barely time. This made me like sevens more than I did before. I don't know what it was about the, this tournament. It just, um, yeah. Will it make me turn on a seven series tournament sometime? Maybe. Um, <laughs> the one element you don't have, I mean, there were some big old guys. France and Fiji had some big units on their team that can shift. That Timo for France looks like a absolute weapon. He was a under 20 world champion last year. Now he's an Olympic gold medalist. He looks a proper player. Uh, but I'd, I'd quite like to see the odd prop. Can we have like a sevens tournament with just props? Just props. Like maybe you have to be above 120 kilos and then you can play in like a, a heavyweight division of sevens. I'd love to see that. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see and I don't know what impact it will have on the sport. Hopefully it gives a boost to sevens generally. Will it have an impact on 15 a side game? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I don't want to be negative, um, but I'll just say this. The, the officiating across the whole tournament was questionable. There were some moments where, and I'll come on to the bronze medal match, I was scratching my head. Happened quite a lot. And I guess all I will say is um, it was equally bad for all teams. So that's kind of fair in the end. So I, w I won't labour that point too much. I will just come back and, and, and talk about this guy, though. Because, as I say... We have just witnessed something very, very special. It was a team game, and I, I don't want to detract from the whole France squad. I'm sure Antoine Dupont will be the first person to say, you know, they've welcomed him into their team and they've helped him and he was started on the bench and blah, blah, blah. But greatness does great things, and we, and we are witnessing greatness right there. And um, what a story. Could not make it up. Uh, right, so that was that's the gold medal uh, done and dusted. The bronze medal went to South Africa. Now, that will be regarded as a massive result for them. When you consider the fact that they were the last team to qualify for the sevens, they had to do that via a repechage, and they've gone and got themselves a bronze medal. The sevens for South Africa has not been in a great place. The Blitzbok were one of the best teams. Well, they were the best sevens team on earth not too long ago. I'm not sure exactly what's happened, whether they're not taking it as seriously in South Africa. Maybe you can let me know in the comments. But... Players like Cheslin Colby and Kurtley Arenser and Quagga Smith and JC Pretorius have come through and been amazing for the Sevens team. And, well, you just wonder how good they could have been if a, if a couple of them, like DuPont, if um, Cheslin Colby had gone over to Paris. That would have been fun to watch. But look at them. They've got, got themselves a bronze medal and did it with a really stubborn defence. It was Australia that absorbed a load of pressure and then scored first with a try from Lawson and you thought this, this this might be it because South Africa are kind of good without the ball. Uh, Selvin Davids though, kick and gather himself. He was kind of like, I'll do it myself. And actually the two captains probably had the most significant impacts in the game. Uh, Selvin Davids with the, the kick and gather and, and scored later on. And for Australia in, in early in the second half, a red card for Nick Maloof, the skipper there. Now, a man down in the 15-a-side game, you can get away with that. A man down in the 7-a-side game, 
that's really hard to uh, to come back from. So it was 7-5 at half time. The DJ played Africa by Toto at half time. I, I was waiting for the the Aussie song, waiting for John Farnham or uh, Men at Work or, or something like that, but it didn't happen. And maybe that was an omen for the second half because, um, yeah, South Africa try. Was there a knock-on in the, in the build-up to that South Africa try? This is one of those things where earlier in the tournament, I think South Africa, in the last game, South Africa felt hard done by against France. Australia felt hard done by on this one. It, that, that looked questionable. Red card, fine. Um, and then Zane David scored two quick tries. Looked like the game was won, but fair play. Mark Noanganitawase, Marky Mark. He had, a, he had a massive impact when he came on. Another uni, uh, 15 aside player uh, doing brilliantly at sevens. And looked like he was clawing the game back. It was Corey Tull with some absolute wheels for Australia. Then Marky Mack committing defenders, offload, try. But Selvin Davids with the clock in the red. An absolute banger of a match. It, w finishing fourth at an Olympics is the worst. Because, um, yeah, you get nothing. South Africa get themselves a bronze medal. And bearing in mind where the sevens team has been, uh, and what the expectations were, and the fact they lost their first two pool matches. Look at that. I think they've got, was it, was it two wins, two, no, they must have won three. Anyway, they managed to, they managed to pull that one out, a rabbit out of a hat, and fair play. Absolutely love the Olympic Sevens. If you appreciate the, the content on the channel, video, give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, leave your comments down below. Um, I think the final word um, should just be that guy fairy tale absolute rugby fairy tale and mark my words i'll say it again and i don't think it's hyperbole when i say this we are alive at a time and watching a player in real time that whose highlight reel and videos and people are going to talk about him many 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 years in the future he's that good congratulations to france congratulations antoine dupont